What's up guys, Nick here from Everything Tech and today what we have is a video talking about Android Lollipop 5.1 update. Now to confirm this I'm going to go over into the settings, scroll down until we get to about phone and you're going to see right there Android 5.1 Lollipop. I'm on version LMY47D and I'm going to leave all the links to download in the description for Nexus 7. Um, Nexus 5 and whatever Nexus is the links that are available right now I'll leave those down in the description so you guys can go download those for yourself okay guys so for the first feature that I'm gonna start with is on the lock screen actually so when you double swipe to pull down your um, quick toggles if you start before if you went like this it would just stay on the lock screen but now it opens into the phone so let's do that again double swipe to bring down your quick toggles and you'll see you go right into the phone itself. If you just hold on the quick toggles themselves, you stay on the lock screen. So that's a that's a subtle touch in Lollipop 5.1. Also, there is support for dual SIM support, so multiple users can put their um, SIM cards in the in the SIM slot, and you can actually change the dialer color for those SIM cards. I don't have multiple SIM cards, so not really going to help me out too much. But that feature is there. Also, HD calling. And there is actually supposed to be a fix where I'm here on the home button. This, these might have lagged before, and these are seeming not to lag anymore. So if you tap these, any of these buttons, they used to sometimes get stuck, these keys, they don't lag no more. So that's a fix in Lollipop. Also, a little subtle thing. If you go into the clock, if you notice up here, these have a subtle animation. It's not a really big thing, but watch, they make a little animation. As you see, the clock ticked, that went around that flipped and that went around so you can see that's just a little slight update to lollipop 5.1 it's supposed to be a little bit speedier and i could tell you right now that i believe it is a little bit speedier it seems to be performing better than 5.0 did as you can see from what i'm doing i mean that's not really indicative of speed but as you can see there's no stutter here on lollipop 5.1 so far I'll keep you updated if I start seeing some stuttering, but I doubt I will. The touch that they added in here is where you see your Wi-Fi connections and Bluetooth. You can actually go to them right from the pull-down menu. So you can tap right there and you can see there's my Wi-Fi connections. You can go to Bluetooth right there and see if you have any Bluetooth connections. I actually have a Pebble, but that's besides the point. Also, there's a screen pinning feature now. Well, it's a little, it's a tiny thing. So they basically just show you right there how to do it now so it's a little bit easier for you to see it's something subtle but it's there also got it also if you go into the swipe down menu from up here actually I pinned that screen so we're gonna go back out actually if you go down and up in here you could see portrait that makes a little swippy animation swooping animation it you know it's something little but it's there that's another little thing that they added and also memory fix there's supposed to be a memory leak fix for this phone where people were actually losing apps and losing storages and I haven't had that problem in 5.0.1 and I'm not having that problem in this one so far so basically that's about it for Android Lollipop 5.1 if you guys enjoyed this video please leave a thumbs up down below and subscribe to the channel for more content like this as I'm always staying updated on the latest and greatest tech and I'll have all those links in the download description down below and anyway guys I'll catch you guys in the next video peace